So, you know, uh, I dabble in art every now and then, and this piece, this whole piece of acrylic, this is half inch acrylic, and it kind of represents a person's life. Now, it can represent your whole life from beginning to end. It can represent a portion of your life. It can represent a day in your life. But its representation is all about the search for truth. And so what I've done is I've kind of built into this thing a story. And the story starts like this. There's this black line down here. Actually, it starts off with this scratching. Why is there scratching here before this? Well, I'll tell you about that later. But this black line right here all the way across represents our birth, our childhood, our infancy. And all of these wires holding these two sides together represent input on how we should think, on how, how we should be, on what we should do. And this steel bar underneath these, these, uh, these steel cords represent our, what our parents and family do to us. And some of it's good and some of it's bad, but what it represents is this strip of certainty that you two and two equals four, that you should always say excuse me from the table after you go to the bathroom, wash your hands, God is this, uh, the best government is this. That's what this area represents. Well, what happens is, for most people, some never leave this realm, and this is where they spend their whole life, but most people start saying, you know, I'm going to start thinking for myself here. They always tell me to wash my hands after I use the restroom, but darn it, I'm going to start searching for some truth. And that's what all of this represents. It represents a journey and a scratching and a searching for truth and trying to discover what is good and what is real and what is right. Now what all these things represent are pockets of truth that we are represented to us in our government, in our religions. Uh, this one is, is interesting. I, I, this to me represents drugs. And so you're boring into it and all you do is get lost inside this thing. You're, you're trying to get, this is, a, this is someone who crawls up from infancy and childhood and teen years and starts digging around and they enter into this phase and they spend their whole life here. They, be, they, they die in this place. And some of these might represent a religion. This might be Mormonism with their gold plates and this might be Catholicism and this might be Buddhism or whatever you want. But you notice about that is that inside this are a special combination of colors. You have a special one here, it's unique here, it's unique here, and when people get inside this, they're sort of trapped in that world. And they can't see outside of it because of these ridges of steel, and so they just think this is what truth is. And every single person who's a Catholic, if this is Catholicism, they sit in here their whole life. They think, nobody knows the truth but me. And over here, you know, we might have the Mormons. And, and here we have the Jews, you know, you got the Star of David here. And, and it's, a, it's a big, thick system of centuries of teachings. And you get in that, and that's what you are, you know, and it's crystal clear. On and on. This is the most dangerous piece on there. It looks like a flower. It's the only piece that kind of moves, but it, is, it will stab you. It's steel. It draws you in it like, this is really great. This one's interesting. It's a bunch of colors, but they're not mixed. There's no amalgamation of the colors. There's no mixing. It's just different colors, and some people enter that. These are things that stop you from moving forward. So all of it represents work. This, of course, represents our occupations. And, and you know, you might have a job as a dentist, or you might have a job as a doctor or a lawyer or a contractor. This represents people who get lost in their work, right? But some people say it's not enough, so they keep scratching. And some people scratch all the way till they get to the very top of this thing, and they just stop. And that's what this big black thing represents. That's called resignation. I give up. Some of the people in here become atheists or nihilists. Or they just don't believe there's anything. There's no truth. It's a really broad, wide band because they have gone through so much scratching and searching and, and been part of so many different things. They get to this phase, they're old, they're tired, they say, I quit, right? 
But sometimes people move, and this, this could represent a very short period in your life. It could be narrowed down to this, or it could be broad. It's representational. And then sometimes people say, I can't give up yet. So they step out of the resignation. They go immediately into a pit, and then they hit solid steel. And it's just scratching and scratching and scratching, and they can't get anywhere. And the res the, their, their desire to go back to resignation is so strong. They're just like, I, I, nothing can really be known. And many philosophers have said that. But there are those who break through and get to this place. And this is the place where all the colors that are represented merge up here. It's free-flowing. And I would call this place the truth. I would call this place love. They're synonymous. When you can move from myopic worldviews and self-centered drugs and, and, and pleasures and this religion and that religion and this scratching, you can get through resignation, you can fight the fight and you get up in here, you realize that you have the capacity to love every single being and person no matter who they are because you were loved first. In this place is total liberty. In that place is complete freedom because if you can't love, you are in bondage to yourself. You're in bondage to your own desires, and we all have them. Our own angers, you're in bondage if you can't love. So when you can look at every person in every situation with this kind of love, you've arrived up here. So we're going to wrap this up, but one question is, why is there scratch marks above the love? What is this all about? Well, what this is about is it represents what happens to people, even if they have gone through this in a given day or in the course of their life and they get there. Often when they have children, they think you can't raise them this way. You got to teach them things because you're afraid of what will happen to them. So you climb out of this, you start scratching, you scratch again, and then you become the parent of a child who's in this. Bound, binding them up again, too fearful to raise them in this because they gotta have the rules. So you, you start scratching and then the whole cycle repeats for a whole new individual. The whole point in this is give yourself over to considering the fact that God loves every single one of his creations equally, whether they are atheists or whatever religion, and everyone really does believe that they have the absolute right way. Most of us are somewhere stuck in those color spots on that thing. Some of us are still scratching, and it's so, so, so difficult and temporary to get to that top place, but that's the goal. See you next week.